Hi everybody, I'm Lawrence Mann, this is Lawrence Candra, and we're going to take a look at the Lenovo A940. That's a... how do I put this? The Surface Studio was a really unique piece of kit when it came out. Now we've got the Surface Studio 2. Um, it's the same piece of kit, they've just upgraded a few ends and pieces. Anyway, when the Surface Studio 1 came out, we expected that to be, you know, kind of a few competitors. Nothing came out. But here's the Lenovo A940. And it looks great. It's cheaper. The specs are better. In, in, in some ways, certainly. So yeah, let's take a look at this. I, I think it's really going to be worth a try. And CES always gives us a few really nice gadgets, gizmos and toys to, to kind of play with. So I'm really excited about this. Let's dive in, take a look at the specs and yeah, hopefully you get really excited. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to find out more. So, this is a 27 inch touch screen and it comes in QHD which is kind of the equivalent of 2K or it comes in 4K as well which is absolutely cracking. If you're like me and you're a digital artist you might want that 4K if you do hyper detailed work like I do or video editing. If you just do like sketching or you do more kind of work that isn't so high detailed then the QHD stuff might be absolutely brilliant. At the moment you know I'm kind of working on a Wacom 27 QHD and that's brilliant. A lot of people won't really recognize the difference between a QHD and a 4K because they're not getting that up close, they're not getting that into the super detail, they're not doing video work for example. So yeah, the ability to pick between the two screens and the price difference between the two, brilliant to have the option between. Design-wise, they've stuck a really unique kind of speaker grill along the base of this and that looks absolutely brilliant, especially when you have on top of that a really nice place to slide your keyboard in and the fact that they built all that in and just inside got this really nice place to put in a wireless charging place for your phone and I did think at first also for your wireless mouse as well but it turns out your mouse isn't charged from there and I did wonder if your stylus was also charged from there. Turns out your mouse and your stylus are not charged from there. The stylus here is, I didn't know what kind of stylus it was. I didn't know if it was Wacom Tech or what, it's not. It's referred to as a Lenovo Active Stylus 1. I have no idea what that means. I don't think it's a, a Wacom OEM stylus. So yeah, let me know if you have used a Lenovo Active Stylus before and let me know in the comments below if it's any good. Lenovo, if you are listening, I would love to try this out and give everybody my honest feedback on, on how good this technology is. From a, a digital artist's point of view, I'm gonna be able to tell people you know, how good this is, what its flaws are, what its good points are, what its strengths are, yeah. I'd love to be able to tell you, and if you already know, put it in the comments below and I can pass that on to everybody else. Overall, this kind of looks different, it looks unique, and I like the fact that you thought about, you know, the ability to be able to charge your phone, to be able to keep all your accessories there to one side, and you actually really thought about the accessories here, because one thing you've also thought about is that unique kind of dial. Everybody, you know, the Surface Studio had the dial, and a lot of people said, well, the dial kind of doesn't, it falls off the screen, um, you know, especially when you're moving the screen around. So you've got this dial that you can put into the side, and if you're left handed, like I am, you can take it out and plug it in the other side. And it's not just a simple dial, it's actually a two in one kind of twin dial and it has a button on it as well. So it's kind of multi-talented. And I noticed that this has pre-programmed settings on it for things like Photoshop and other popular applications, which is absolutely great to see. But it's also programmable as well, so I can change that up and it looks really, it looks very, very smart. Now, I've seen other dials out there 
that are kind of horrible to use. I like to look into different ways of using hotkeys, on-screen hotkeys, mini keyboards, things like that, and some of them, quite frankly, have been absolutely atrocious. This, on first glance, looks really good. Again, I'd like to try that out and let everybody know if that's how good that is. On first glance, looks pretty good. So, looks certainly better than some of the other dial systems I've seen out there. Um, and I like the fact that you can switch it from left to right and it's actually attached to the device. Um, I noticed it was USB as well, which is quite good. It doesn't require batteries. Yeah, uh, again, kudos points for that. So, um, the UI on that as well looked quite nice. I'm not sure how space consuming that is on the screen, but again, 27 inch screen. It's nice to see um, more 27 inch screens out there. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. Now this does just move forwards and backwards, up and down, but there was no rotate on it. Maybe on the next model, there could be a rotate. Uh, if Lenovo is listening to this, then make sure to check out my previous Surface Studio 2 videos. Now these were the Surface Studio 2 videos that we made before the Surface Studio 2 came out. So these were ideas for what the Surface Studio 2 could be. In theory, ideas you could use for your Lenovo A940 version 2. I don't want to imagine what numbers that would have. But yeah, you know, we'd like to see rotating in there ideally. Anyway, that's the point. Diving more into the specs now. This is a i7 Intel A700 desktop processor. Now what that means is that this is a more powerful processor than the Surface Studio 2 because it's an actual desktop type processor rather than the, the kind of squashed down processor that they needed to put in the smaller body of the Surface Studio. But yes, it's still an i7 processor rather than an i9 processor, which we'd have preferred to have seen in this. I know there are going to be people in the comments saying, i9, still a great processor. You're not hardcoring on games on this device. An AMD Radeon RX 560. It's pretty good for my Photoshop work, everything like that. I haven't got much to say about the graphics card there. I'll let you say it all in the comments below. The mix of the two processor and the graphics card, I, am, I, I imagine I'd have to see this working together for me to give it a full appraisal. It's something, specs wise, I never like to say until I'm reviewing things, but yeah, fine. Um, up to 32 gigs of RAM. Given the processor, given the graphics card, I'd want to chuck the full 32 gigs of RAM in there, especially if I was going for the 4K screen. Up to one terabyte of storage. On something like this, well, I save all my work onto external drives anyway. I probably want the full terabyte in there. That's just for processing the work that you do keep on your hard drive and because I do video work and, and so on and so on. But yes you can have up to one terabyte of storage um, yeah and that's it basically it's pretty cool I'd say this is better if you look at the price which I'll put right here I would say this is better than the Surface Studio 2 I like its quirky design my only thing is I would really have to give it a test and I would say that basically it's all about stylus. Is that good enough to keep up with the Surface Studio stylus? So, there you go, there are my thoughts. I'm excited about it, basically. I like it, but I just don't know enough about it to give an overwhelmingly great response. If you know something though, I wanna hear it. I want you to get me excited about it. Lenovo, if you're listening, reach out, say hello. Tell me more, send me information, or an A940. I like reading text stuff. Send me information about the pen as well, that'd be cool. Until next time, make sure to subscribe, make sure to hit that notifications bell, and I shall see you guys soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you're at CES, then I'm amazingly jealous, and go away. Have a great day.